Mondial of Power Motor, it's here in Bassam. Do you know that? 600 pilots flying on the new things coming in the big world now of Power Motor. And it's a great event, everybody enjoys and it's also a way to meet with people to see all the new wings, all the new brands, all the new materials, you can try the things. Paul Bailey from Bailey Aviation here at Bassam. Um, got the new V5 machine. Um, I've won with demand with them. Everyone seems to like it. Um, we're just uh, going to change the aluminium tank very shortly to a plastic tank, which we're moving up higher to be uh, so the tank's not in the airflow under the pilot. Um, it'll still be quick release as our tanks have always been. We realized this new model of uh, uh, top 80 with the injection electronic control is a system to control the injection and spark angle of the two stroke motor. We decided to realize that to be more uh, faster on the acceleration, to don't have problem in the altitude because we compensate the altitude. If you compensate the temperature with the sensor, we have a air temperature sensor, motor temperature to sensor inside the pressure sensor and the, the echo control all the parameter of the motor. So our main product are paramotors, just like this, the 16. Uh, then we, have, we made all the accessories, equipment, trikes, and uh, now we are focused for the new clothes uh, version and helmets uh, style for the paramotor. You see here now the four-stroke engine, that's our uh, machine that we come through uh, on our own. Um, we do the company with, with two people, uh, with Luc Fontaine, he is the, the big boss of uh, the company and I make the uh, example from, uh, for the engine. Uh, I introduce you uh, our liquid cooled motor. Uh, for paramotor, and, uh, it's um, originally uh, motor uh, because it's uh, water cooled. Uh, my name is uh, Javier Hernandez from Paracel, electric paramotor, design, manufacturer, pilot. We are two new gliders for paramotor wings. Our first wing for paramotor. We develop uh, the Kuga station special for parameter wings. We have uh, our new engine, the Tor 250, water-cooled. We have also the balance counter shaft, no vibration, easy starter with the flash starter. Very good engine, will be the future. I can give you, give you a quick overview of our latest machine, the Zenith, which is getting people really excited. Uh, the concept for the Zenith is that it's uh, extremely lightweight. Uh, it's supposed to be something that even paragliders can use in sort of tandem. Uh, it's designed to be able to break down into an incredibly small package, so really good for international travel, that sort of thing. Uh, and just generally feel really exciting when you're wearing it and when you're flying it. Hello, I'm Roy Aikens, and uh, I'm going to fly with the GTF for the first time, and I hope I like it. It could be the last Bass Ham ever, so we made a real extra special effort to be here. This is our stand, our new products, and everybody's flying our wings, and some just taken off over there. That's right, it's the brand, it's here, it's Paramania. But we have a new product which is Nucleon WRC. WRC is a shortcut for the wheel rod concept with the plastic rods on the front uh, of the ribs. Uh, we are surprised with this modification. Now we are able with our new uh, laser cutter machine to cut very narrow strips of fabric which we used to this technology to put plastic rods in. And five years ago, more or less, we uh, introduced this uh, new project for entering the paramotor uh, range. Actually, our uh, main production uh, become uh, in uh, this uh, uh, engine, is a 180cc engine with uh, a power of uh, 27 HP. Adventure Paramotor, okay. It's a French company from uh, near Paris and we have uh, 30, 35 school. We have a cooperation with a Polish company to, to produce engine. So our job is to, to build uh, extra light 
uh, food lunch units and uh, we have different models and all models are under 22 kg and uh, we are uh, so specialized uh, in the uh, para trike and uh, also in inox with uh, uh, Simonini motors uh, for the, we have uh, para trike for two persons and only for one person. The particularity of our product is uh, to, to be light with uh, aluminum chassis and uh, but when it's uh, with um, electric start but uh, we have uh, also a uh, light uh, engine with uh, no electric start. I am here also to promote Ozone brand which is a paragliding brand and the PAP which is a paramotor manufacturer. We take all the things, the very new things, is our new fuel tank. After all this year we make new molds and so we have a new fuel tank on all our new frame and the evolution of all the engine, all the small details we used to have. We have a new product, it's a Fly 100 Evo 2. Uh, the engine uh, is the same of uh, the same base of uh, Fly 100 Hero. We change uh, uh, the, uh, some components. Now the, uh, the weight is uh, less, of uh, decrease of one kilo. Uh, the consumption is uh, decreased. Uh, the motor now have a different solution also for uh, the muffler. So the end is uh, now improved and uh, we consider it much better. I think uh, the most uh, important thing for us is that we uh, produce quiet and reliable engines. Hello, my name is Elena and I work for, from Fire from Bulgaria. Uh, we are here at uh, Base Ham to show our paramotors and we all you are welcome in Bulgaria. <laughs> my name is David Rouault. Uh, I'm the co-owner of uh, RS Ultra. We are uh, located in, uh, in Canada, in Quebec, and we are the manufacturer of the, the Kangook. Kangook line, the, this, uh, this power motor, we, the nano product, the new product we made uh, for this, uh, for this, uh, this year. And uh, we had a, a great, uh, great time in, in Bassa, I mean, a lot of uh, interest uh, for, for our product. Hello, I'm, I'm Jean uh, from Jean Gladys and I'm here in Bassam to see the paramotor world. And, uh, I was never really involved in paragliding a paramotor scene, but it's very interesting to see the different people, different mentality, the way of flying, and uh, it seems really nice here. It's just a new, new things for me, and uh, the people fly really, they're enjoying happy looking. It's a different way than free flight. So it's quite nice to be here. And I've heard that they're going to change the venue next time. I don't know where it's going to be, but I'm not really sure if it's going to be as good as this place. We hope so.